Okay guys, so I think this topic has been discussed enough on YouTube and I don't want to bring up stale points so I will attempt to make this as quick as possible and just say my piece and be done with it. Today we're talking about the YouTube kids channels aka the Elsa Gate scandal aka YouTube toy channel problems. This is somewhat the reason behind the Adpocalypse 2.0 so get ready to get demonetized, it's gonna be oodles of fun. What's up guys, it's Neriku aka the Toy Tangler back at it again with yet another problem. Toy and YouTube kids channels. These hashtag Elsagate channels exploit the YouTube algorithm for views from the most innocent of subscribers. Children. Using flashy yet familiar thumbnails, they attract kids to their channel and expose them to the absolute weirdest of things. Let's be real here guys, these channels need to be stopped. It is a problem that YouTube has been late to start fixing and completely ignored for the longest time. I think that by jumping in on this topical subject right now, I would not only further the knowledge on the issue itself and educate them on it, but it would also give me some views. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the arguments against them. YouTube toy channels are channels that promote, let's call them uh, weird themes in their videos. Often including the figure of Elsa or Spider-Man in these videos, they bombard their audience with scenes of sex, violence, kidnapping, and other things of general mischief. It's really sad to see what YouTube has let happen on their platform, and it doesn't just end here. There are also children targeted shows that explain the complex matters of sexuality, sex, gender, trans issues, and sexual orientation. What is weird to me is that these shows, if you can call them that, are specifically built to educate young children through the use of song, color, and puppets to push a leftist snowflake agenda. Now, I'm not saying that these channels are wrong from attempting to educate the general populace, I'm more so concerned about the age demographic that they're targeting. Like really, why would a toddler need to know about sexuality at all? Why would they need to know about gender identity? Not only are these issues and topics controversial, but they hold no place in a child's life when they're still learning ABCs or even how to speak to begin with. The channel I'm talking about in particular, which I will name, is Queer Kid Stuff. This weird, overly simplified explanation of SJW topics is dangerous to teach kids. Not saying that kids in general aren't going through it at all, but for majority of kids, being queer isn't a problem. According to the Williams Institute at UCLA School of Law, we were able to see that they conducted a study to determine how many individuals in the Western world identify as lesbian, gay, or bisexual. According to those findings, typically in about the United States, right around 2009 or so, it's really hard to point exact numbers, only about 5.6% of the population identifies as overall queer or in the LGBTQIARSTUVWXYZ community. So this leads me to believe that it's such a small marginalized amount of the population that it's not significant enough to warrant teaching kids about it. According to a different study on transgender issues at the William Institute of Law at UCLA, it paints a similar picture. Only 0.58% of the population in the United States of America identifies as transgender or has some type of gender dysphoria issue. So what we can gather in total is that less than 10% of the population is marginalized and identifies with some of these issues in general. So it makes me wonder, why the heck are we teaching kids about this? It's really ridiculous. Think about it like this. When I was a child, I thought girls had cooties. Whatever happened to that mindset? By me avoiding contact with the opposite gender out of a genuine fear of catching a fictitious disease, did that somehow make me gay? Did that somehow make me gay? No, not at all. I'm concerned that kids and children who are the most gullible of our population will gravitate to this mindset of thinking. Because they prefer the company of the same gendered kids as them, does this somehow make them all gay? The answer is obviously no. I don't think that kids will be able to think this through and differentiate between these problems at such a young age. This all goes back to YouTube, promoting this agenda. 
I don't understand it, man. Like, seriously, bruv, why does every major corporation out there have a political stance in their policies? I mean, sure, if I somehow made a kids channel out there promoting traditional Christian values, I'm sure someone will watch it. But let's be real here. Would it ever be featured on YouTube's homepage? Would be promoting cisgender straight marriage be something that YouTube would recommend to their audiences? Even if I had a colorful thumbnail? I don't see this happening because YouTube is biased. They only care about their agenda or what makes them money. Let's be real here. Which makes them more money? Trendy topics on gender, trans identity, and sexuality? Or values like loving your neighbor like you love yourself, Jesus, or being straight? I'm sure I know which topics Lacey Green would pick too. All things aside and my bias aside, these channels do need to be stopped. They know exactly what to put on their thumbnails to get a child's attention. Gone are the innocent days of watching slightly queer Teletubbies, Caillou, Arthur, and non-leftist Sesame Street. Say hello to political agenda, slightly rapey undertones, animated cartoon crimes, and elevated language that shouldn't be used on kids channels, like ever. The thumbnails are bright, they feature some of the most well-known characters. Once you click on it, you never know exactly what you're going to get. I employ each and every one of you to check out the hashtag Elsagate subreddit down in the description below and if you find any other examples while you're here on YouTube, go ahead and submit them there. The YouTube algorithm has been known for a long time now to fuck over creators. Unless of course you're leftists or maybe your kids channel. These channels have been operating under the radar for quite some time now and they allow for their tags, titles, and thumbnails to misguide the automatic ban of YouTube. Very slow to respond, might I add. I'm not sure why this is exactly, but I can imagine that YouTube's team isn't big enough to account for all these issues, but they have been neglecting this issue long enough. It is so bad that other advertisers have left yet again. And to the content creator's dismay, we are in for the long haul in terms of getting raped again by monetization issues. I'm not one of them yet, and I don't quite have monetization, but it is at the point where I'm not even sure if gaining monetization would make a difference on my channel. I understand that my content is literally cancer, but I'm not trying to disguise my cancer as content for children. Is there a solution in sight? Well, in short, yes and no. YouTube needs to do a better job with engaging with the community that has already been here. The same community of creators that makes them money. They need to stop neglecting the issues and listen to the other half for once. Sure, our content may not necessarily be family friendly, but neither is theirs. Teaching kids about rape, sex, transgenderism, feminism, and sexuality is not what I consider a fun time for the whole family. It's awkward enough and just plain weird. I don't think that this will happen anytime soon as YouTube values their snowflakes more than anything else. They also seem to value exposing young children to pedophiles on the internet, but that's none of my business though. I know that if I ever have kids, there will come a time where I need to explain to them the troubles of YouTube and warn them to stay away until they're old enough to understand. But this is the world we live in. I can't wait to see what 2018 has to offer. Let's just hope that there's not enough bleach for me to drink in mass quantity because I might just have to have that shit on tap. Okay guys, that's it for me. Remember to do your part by not allowing your kids to subscribe to these channels and help out by monitoring what your kids watch. Also, flag any weird channels that you see on the hashtag Elsagate subreddit. That link is once again in the description below. Also, as always, gently tongue punch that like button and subscribe if you're new because I make weird content like this on a regular basis. With that said, I'm Neriku aka The Toy Tangler and I will catch each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace.